going on, everybody? Level and Fatcast. We'll be hooking you up with an unboxing today. We're going to crack open SD Trucks Series 11 from Greenlight. Um, as you guys know, I just picked these up uh, with, with Hobby Lobby the way they is. Not going to buy from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's not going to happen. They charge 20 bucks a piece for these guys. So we're going to unbox the International Tanker Truck. We're also going to do the Mack Dump Truck. That super cool American flag livery. And just like what you're looking at now, we're going to crack open the Mack Anthem. So we're going to move this guy over. We're going to bring in our handy dandy TSM model rotator guy. Get him going. Throw him down. And we're going to start with the Mac Anthem. We'll cut these open. You guys know how the channel is. We don't got to go over this. Except for this guy. It's got to be super difficult this time. Sorry, guys. Get him out of there. Good, he fits on the rotator. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Get in a little bit on those details. Now, you can see the one to the uh, right of your screen there. That was the original blue. Uh, this one's just a little bit lighter. Um, it just has that number five on the door. Not really sure why we couldn't have got a different version. I'm not sure why they went with blue again. Uh, but there are some differences to it. There's some differences to the uh, printing and stuff. And uh, we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. I want to get you guys looking at the rotator. I'm very happy that it fits on there. Stretched to the limits, but it fits. It fits. Um, I love this, this thing. I love that green light is branched out a little bit. They need to really move on to another truck though they can't just keep with the mac anthem forever um and i'm not sure if they're going to move on to another truck but i certainly hope they do so pull this up real quick and we'll just take a look at what we got here it's just such a such a good model you know and with a lot of green light stuff you know they're super super fragile this one's actually not that bad um and there's a ton of detail to it um, I unfortunately don't have any of the ones with the trailers quite yet. Um, they're, they're, I mean, 30 bucks is a little up there, but as far as I know, those trailers are metal. So that makes it a good deal if that's the case. You got your Bulldog. Always got the Bulldog. You know, those windows are pretty foggy up. I just pulled that out of the package too. Yep, they're just, they're just like that. That's, that's unfortunate. There's the deets on the bottom. I got a relatively known low number there, number 266. All right. So on the left side, we're going to have the this current version. And then on the right side is a previous version. So looks like the exact same tampo is on the front. We do have differences in those uh, vents on the hood. And then, of course, number five, the blues are obviously a little bit different. Uh, different enough, I guess you could say. Set these down so I can turn them around. Uh, still have the same detail on the mud flaps. Same details everywhere else. That is the only changes between the two. Is the number five and that grill. Which is unfortunate. I really thought there would be something more different with this one. But alas, that is not the case. All right, we're going to move on to the tanker that people thought were a green machine, <laughs> which is totally not a green machine, but I find it to be hilarious. And they're like, well, why is the one wheel green? I'm like, I don't know. You should call Fire, Depart Fire Department in New York and ask them why. I don't know. Maybe somebody's watching this video. You guys can tell me why. Because I certainly don't know. Now, I've gotten quite a number of these tanker trucks 
with loose parts and stuff that's not glued correctly. But looks like I got a good one this time. So we're going to move this guy over so we can share some real estate. There we go. This guy's going to be definitely pushing the limits. But there we go. I've never seen a fire department tanker truck from New York like this. Obviously, this has got to be real, though. Uh, you know, Greenlight does a ton of stuff with FDNY, also NYPD. And, uh, I mean, I'm always happy to get another ver version of this. I, I wish that the third axle moved. It wasn't fixed, but... Oop. Sorry, guys. A little too close to the box in the back. There we go. There we go. Move this just a little bit. Get this recentered a little bit. Real time, guys. Um, this is the... I think this is the 10th or the 11th version of this truck. Um, they've used this truck quite a bit. I really wish that they would come out with something different. The SD line really needs to expand. I know that they're coming out with different attachments for the, the dump truck and the trash truck, but we really need a new model. We really need a new model. Now, I do know that the the Chevy Top Kick or whatever is coming, um, that, that farm truck that they made for some, some toy store or whatever, but, you know, it, it's a start. So, just really good details. Looks like I got a little bit extra under spray or a little light on the gray so they obviously sprayed the cab red and then went over it with the gray unfortunately i got some that bled through that's that's unfortunate um other than that it looks pretty good just some manufacturing things here and there um for those of you who don't know about the the uh, tanker truck i'm gonna get this to open up for us it's super super difficult guys let me let me try to do this without without breaking it. Well, hmm. well, you know, guys. Every once in a while, you get one of these that just doesn't want to cooperate. Um, I probably have some additional glue or something in there. Trying to find something in the studio here that'll help me pry it open. Um, well, guys, this is another issue with green light. So I actually I can't get this open, um, and I, I fear that if I keep pushing and prying and whatever i'm gonna break it um this is one issue with green light quality they use a lot of super glue for a lot of little parts and you just get a teeny little bit spread out too far um, and it affects those movable parts so it's quite unfortunate um you know it it's just a frustration on green lights part other than that the detail on the back is fantastic the other side is just a mirror ultra low sulfur diesel also got details on the top because green light doesn't skip and even shows you the gallon markers in there each section holds 1100 gallons which is pretty cool there is the base uh, looks like oh, there we go 1209 so this one's a much much higher number there we go try to get that to cooperate there we go guys sorry about that yeah, it's unfortunate I can't get that back to open to show you guys. Uh, there's just some control details in there. It's just... This happens on a lot of them. And I've, I have broken before and it's, it's it sucks because these are expensive. Alright, we're going to go on to the best one of the bunch. Just because it's got that cool American flag plastered on the side of it. You know, because... America... Pop that guy out of there. Slide him out of his little cocoon. Alright, we're gonna pull this guy and set him to the side. 
and put this awesome one here. Man, that's cool, guys. These uh, these are some pretty thick plastic now. I think green light's starting to, uh, you know, trying to trying to realize that some of these trucks need some some significant protection because they are uh, quite fragile. You know, uh, despite with the amount of plastic and despite all the assembly and stuff, you know, I can't imagine. I, I can't even tell you how many times I've bought in the truck that has the mirrors falling off or. I've had fuel tanks fall off. I've had, um, I've even gotten this tanker truck where uh, that exhaust stack had fallen off. So it happens. Um, it's not a big deal to, to glue it back on. But I think as collectors, we shouldn't have to do that. We should be able to oh, crack it open and it should be fine. But regardless, um, I really think this truck should have got super chrome wheels. I think it would have been better fit. You know, super, super chrome like this guy's got. But it's got this dull gray finish to it. Um, I'm going to take this up and look at it now, guys. This is the Mac Granite. It's very, very, very nice. Still have your Bulldog up front. This is a really, really nice model. Triple axle. Now, I had bought one before. This is like a foil, like a paper foil hydroform like, decal on the side here. And if you can see in the corners where the bed's at, it hasn't quite sat in the corners so I bought one of these before and it was cracked um, pretty pretty bad and I knew that just over time it would it would continue to deteriorate so I wanted one that wasn't cracked yet so this one's good I love the to carry the blue across the top of it shows the uniformity it's even on the back the flag it's super cool same deco on the other side Fortunate to get another good. No cracks on this side. All right, stairs are crooked. That's all right. At least they're not falling off, I guess. 1078. Not a very low number. So, not really sure how they're manufactured. I'm sure they just manufacture one and then the other and then the other and they just kind of throw them together. Now, this one does um, lift up to dump and then of course the back opens as well so it's unlikely that this one would ever be in a situation where those wouldn't work get that on there a little bit better so what i've noticed with green light too is sometimes the wheels are not they're not level there we go there we go nice good all right guys Apologize a little bit for the tanker truck. I uh, I really wanted to get that open and show you guys. It just it just does not want to open, and I know that it still does open. It's not like they got rid of that feature, but uh, it's still still irritating to me. I can't get it open. So, but alas, we'll move on. But I wanted to bring you guys this. This is my first SD trucks. Um, I I was more curious on this Mac just to see what was different on that one. To see if we really were paying for just a number five stamp, and that's pretty much what we're paying for. Um, I just, I just don't know why they couldn't have changed it up more than that. But it is what it is. I love them. Still happy with them. Still love green lights. Still love SD trucks. I really hope that they expand a little bit better. But uh, we'll see what happens in the future. We've got some good stuff coming. So uh, we're gonna roll out level one diecast, and uh, I got a whole slew of videos coming up. So. Stay tuned and uh, peace.